Soph and welcome back to the Knowles family. So today is going to be Vlogmas day one. So I am starting Vlogmas pretty early as one there is nothing else I can possibly do so I might as well start it early. We are in lockdown so might as well start it. I know it's going to be I'm probably going to do more days than 25 but that is fine. I haven't been uploading in a while so I thought I would do a few extra days for you so you can just see me vlog um and plus we are doing a christmas movie day on saturday so we are getting into the christmas spirit a little bit now um i have also ordered a few more christmasy bits they should be coming today so i can show you guys them i'm going to give you a little haul on what i've bought from a shop yesterday hopefully it all comes today if it doesn't it'll have to be in a couple parts so i hope you guys enjoy your vlogmas day one and let's just get started so it is currently almost six in the morning which is pretty early i'm not gonna lie i mean this week we've been getting up at four in the morning because Craig goes to work. I get up at four in the morning um, when he's on days as well anyway because I just can't sleep at all. So I just tend to wake up with him, have a coffee and, you know, let the dog out and stuff like that. So that is what I've been doing currently. I've just been watching a few episodes of Sister Sister. On Netflix I've been been watching it I've been binge watching it is what I was trying to say and you know it's just bringing me back to my childhood I loved sister sister growing up and yeah I'm on season five currently so I'm almost there I've only got a season to go that went pretty quickly I'm not gonna lie and currently we are watching Star Trek Voyager at the moment so that's another thing that we're going to be getting back into in a few days. Tonight, we are watching the final of the Great British Bake Off. I'm excited to see who wins. We actually have been getting into the Great British Bake Off recently. It is so good. And I don't know who's going to win. It's either going to be the young guy. I can't remember his name again. Or... The other guy. So it's out of the boys, I think. That's who I think is going to win. Either of the two boys that are in there. So I am actually going to brush my teeth and go and brush my hair now as it does need a brush. I did wash it last night, so it's actually pretty clean now. And yeah, so let's go and brush my teeth as I do have really bad wisdom teeth pain again. It just comes and goes every couple of weeks, if I'm honest. It's just been getting bad, crazy. And I did get bitten on my leg, like in two places. And I don't know what it is. I don't know what could have bit me in my sleep. Because, you know, I don't really know what it could be. So hopefully, I mean, it's going down, especially because I've been putting Sudocrem on it. So I'm so while I am doing Vlogmas, I am also going to be showing you my skincare routine today and just some bits and bobs what I do. So let's just get started. So I am currently in my bathroom about to brush my teeth as it really does need doing. So I just use my electric toothbrush. And this is the toothpaste I've been using still. I'd come and talk to you for a little bit while I brush my hair so I'm actually gonna be doing a haul in this vlog as well today as I have brought some more stuff from Cherries. Cherries is a really really good site and I 
love their stuff. I do tend to always do big orders as it's just really, really good for the money and it's cheaper that way. I bought some bits to decorate with for Christmas, so you'll see those. I also bought, um, what's it called? Some, um, just some snacky bits and you basically see um, once I film that part of the video what I brought but there will be a few holes on that as they're not all coming today my hair has gotten so long it's unbelievable <laughs> So one thing that you probably don't know about me is that I'm actually scared of hairdressers. I have never liked strangers touching my hair at all. Like I don't mind Craig's mum touching my hair. I don't mind it. I don't mind Craig's sister touching my hair. Again, I don't mind it. If anybody else touches my hair though, I just feel really squeamish i don't know why i guess i just never liked anyone touching my hair apart from people i know like my husband i don't mind him touching my hair because you know i live with him and i know him but if it's like a hairdresser and stuff like that i just don't want to go there <laughs> that's probably why i've not even been to a hairdresser like even when the first lockdown ended i never went to a hairdresser because I did accidentally um, burn my hair off under here. As you can see, it's a little bit shorter. It is growing now. But, you know, I can't be bothered. I, I have never liked hairdressers. Ever since I was a kid, I never wanted to go. But, you know, this is how long it is now, though. It is pretty long, actually. Wow. It's, it's growing loads. So I'm just brushing my hair all the way through just because it it feels really really nice to brush your hair because apparently it's good to brush your hair a hundred times in the morning and a hundred times before you go to bed or something that's what I've heard but I don't know if it's true Okay, that's it done. I have a lot of hair by the way, it is so thick. I'm just gonna put it back on my ears for now. So I normally let Stan come out of his crate about seven or eight o'clock, sometimes even nine o'clock, just because if he has a laying, he's less hyperactive. So there's that, and yeah, um, so today should be a fun day, it's not going to be as fun as us decorating a tree or anything, so I thought I'd just talk to you guys for a little bit first, before I get on with mainly the vlogging, so I'm going to tell you that this year we are getting a real Christmas tree instead of a fake Christmas tree. We're just getting a real one this year to see how it goes. We've never had a real one before. Actually, I've never had a real one in my whole entire life. So there's that. And I just think it will be really, really nice. It will smell like real Christmas in here. And I just can't wait to decorate it. We've got some lights and stuff for it we just need some decorations I mean we have a few decorations and stuff like that but I think we needed to buy more especially with how big the tree is um I do want to buy some stuff for like the 
the um the fireplace that's what it's called i can't remember what it was i think i might have some stuff in a box in the garage so i might actually have a look in there to see what we have because i do really want to um you know just see what i have because i was going to give it to charity but i don't know if i could use some of it or not and there is definitely one thing that i do want to get out this year for christmas so i can't wait for that so i managed to find two things that i might be able to do some stuff with so i'm just going to quickly show you guys so this is the first one i've had this ever since i was a little kid and it's just santa playing a violin it does actually sing but i'm not going to play it obviously because of copyright but this is that i actually have i have these jars that were actually used for my wedding so i might actually reuse them and put some like battery operated lights into there to make them look really really nice so them jars that i brought the um the ones that we used for the wedding i'm thinking of putting in some fairy lights in in the jars and just leave it like that you know it will make it like a little jar light type thing and it will just look a little bit festive i did also just order a a wreath thing for the fireplace as i think that will look really really nice as i know we i didn't have one before and i know that they look really really pretty especially for video content so that's another reason why i bought it so i thought that would look really really nice um especially with maybe a bit of fairy lights in i, I don't know yet exactly what i'm going to be doing but it's gonna look good either way i think it's gonna look great um hopefully it looks nice it should do i am gonna be really really positive about it um because i do want to just focus on the living room looking festive not the whole house i'm not one of those people who will decorate the whole house i just will probably decorate the living room with a few things i think last year i can't remember where we put the christmas tree last year i think we ended up putting it on the table in the living room because it was small enough but because we're going for a real one this year it's going to be a bit more different i am going to be putting my wedding dress away for a little while um as i don't need it anymore as you know i'm married so I'm going to put that away so we have room to put the Christmas tree up because I think we're going to put it behind the door. But I'm not too sure at the same time. I don't know where we're going to put it yet, but we'll see. We'll think about it. I thought I'd just come and have another chat. This is a vlog, so you can do whatever you like in a vlog, I reckon. So I'll be doing a little, well not, well not little, but it'll probably be a okay size hole in a little bit when... The package finally comes it probably won't come until a little bit later as it is coming by hermes um sometimes i don't trust hermes that much because i did get a package once from hermes and i ordered some american candy slash drinks to try for you guys in a video and i never filmed it because literally they took almost everything out of the box i don't know why it just went missing and I literally had only one drink to try and one chocolate to try. So I don't know. Because I did know that they took it out because most of the stuff in the box. Well, the box was basically ripped apart and they just threw it on the floor and they ran from the door or something like that. That's what it looked like to me anyway. Um, but enough about, you know, delivery people. Um... So today is the 24th of December. I thought I'd give you a quick stan update for, um, you know, the 
because he's gonna be seven months this week which is so exciting i never thought it would go this quickly but it has and he's gonna be seven months today is gonna be his half of worming tablet day and his flea treatment day so i'll try and film that if i can sort of and then i will be filming i was gonna film a separate video but i'm not too sure if i'm doing vlogmas a little bit earlier i think i'm just gonna stick to doing vlogmas until 25th of december and then i might do a what i got for christmas video and then i'll go back to normal so stan has actually been doing really really well i am so surprised with how well he's been he is definitely getting um what's the word more clever i'd like to say um in the morning for example when craig goes to work like this morning he likes to hug him before he goes to work he will while craig's eating his breakfast he will literally lay half on top of him because i don't think he wants him to leave i think he knows he's going to work especially yesterday and today because craig's been doing 12 hour shifts on the monday and the tuesday obviously he's back to normal tomorrow so it's half five to half one so he will be back pretty early which isn't too bad at all and then on friday he's back at half 11 in the morning so it's fine and it's it has been a bit weird yesterday because Stan was a little bit <laughs> sad most of the day because he didn't know when his dad was coming home and he thought he was on his way but he wasn't because he knows the times you see so he would normally wait at the door and he was waiting at the door for a long period of time <laughs> and then, then he just randomly stopped and just came to me and you know all that kind of stuff um so i thought i'd tell you some stuff that i give him as like a little treat every now and then so every now and then i will give him a bit of carrot carrots are one of his favorites i also give him peas and green beans and i also give him um a bit of milk every now and then i don't give him much at all i give him like a little splash just so he can taste it but and i do give him a tiny piece of cheese um like every couple of months i don't give him cheese all that often at all he like has like this tiny tiny little bit and he's like oh thank you mommy i like cheese <laughs> um but yeah i mean it's been it's been a very very good few days though i mean other than um like him still learning not to eat certain stuff in the garden that is the only issue i'd say we have um oh and him eating his food he does eat food he just doesn't want to eat the other food that we have for him it is a tesco brand and he did eat it for a while until a week after his operation which he was eating it on his operate like you know straight after his operation but a week after he just went off it like randomly so we had to buy him a different brand of food and he was eating that and then he ate the one that craig brought him the other day he ate that so he must have just randomly went off tesco <laughs> food or something now he's on an aldi brand but and it's called earl's he, it actually is really good because it's all in different shapes like you get little bones you get little chicken pieces you get just normal pieces of dry food and it you know he likes it he actually ate a full bowl yesterday well, not a full bowl he ate um one bowl and then he was asking for another bowl five minutes later which i didn't give him by the way because that would make him fat <laughs> and you know he did really like it he, he did usually ask for his food every single time he gets a paw and he wipes his bowl going mm -hmm, give me more but 
you know, he, he wasn't doing that for a couple of days. He was just doing that with water and that's it. Obviously, he tells you when he wants water, which is good. He, he's clever that way. He tells you exactly when he wants water. He'll put his paw on his bowl and he'll, you know, do that with his paw to try and tell you that he wants water to, and stuff like that. When basically he's, he's telling me it's empty, please fill it up for me, mummy. And then I do it and then he goes, thank you. <laughs> he actually tries to give me his paw every time as well to say thank you, which is actually really, really brilliant. Um, at first, we actually didn't think he was that smart because he wasn't really responding to much things that we say. But he's getting there. He does do a few things, which is great. I actually have realised a lot of YouTubers and a lot of people during lockdown are getting dogs. I, we, we got our dog on our, on the first lockdown. Well, actually, it was after the first lockdown ended. So we weren't in lockdown anymore, but it was straight after lockdown. And now everybody's getting dogs. I swear, everybody's either having babies or getting dogs. <laughs> like, I think Soph does life. The one that was, I think her YouTube channel used to be called Soph Does Nails, has now got a dog. And like, I can't remember who else got a dog. I think it was Fabulous Han who got a dog, like Fabulous Hannah. Yeah, I think it was her. She got a dog and she called it Sunny, I believe. And she's actually extremely cute, the dog, by the way. I do watch her videos. And... It's like everybody's getting dogs <laughs> especially people who are in couples they are like all getting dogs especially with like people who live together so a lot of people have been asking why did we decide to get a dog so we decided to get a dog because we th thought it was time to get a dog we were so so lucky to have got stanley he he has changed our lives the reason the other reason why we got a dog was so i wasn't lonely at home and in all honesty, it has helped. Like having Stan with me helps a lot more than it than I did when I didn't have a dog. Okay, I had the bird and a hamster, but they but this but obviously the hamster was nocturnal, so she'd only come out at night. And the bird didn't really I mean Obviously, I'd always talk to Molly because Molly is like one of my favourite birds because she's the only bird we have. <laughs> and, you know, I just thought a dog would give me more and more company because obviously you can play with dogs. You can, you know, throw toys, you can walk them, you can do etc, etc with them. And I just, who else? I think I was telling, well, I was giving Craig hints even like when we were together for two years to get a dog and that's when I wasn't living with him but you know I did want a dog and we did always say that we wanted a border collie puppy and that's what we got we ended up with a border collie puppy and we're happy that we have a border collie puppy um obviously um we, we were looking at other dog breeds too like beagles and um, german shepherds but overall we really wanted a border collie i also looked at a boxer as well but we were i don't think craig was too keen on a boxer that much so we went for border collie because we because we both knew we wanted a border collie which was good and i am just so glad that we were able to get a border collie puppy and the woman who I was talking to about the Border Collie puppy as well was amazing. She kept in touch frequently. She gave, she sent me photos frequently. She told me all the information I needed to know. Um, she told me when it was available to pick him up. And it was just great. And we, and I even still speak to her now we have her on Facebook because I did want her to be able to see Stanley grow and see updates on her on him um I also do speak to Stanley's sister's you know mum 
as, you know, we need to get in touch with one of the siblings, right? So I got in touch with the only sister that Stan has, called Rosie, and they do look alike. I can't remember if those two were the only brown ones. I don't think they were, but I can't remember, <laughs> in all honesty. I know Rosie's brown, and I know my Stan's brown. Well, red, shall I say, because they're a red male border collie, as what it's been put on the vet documents anyway. Um... But yeah, Stan is getting really, really good. Um, there's just a few more things that we need to perfect, really. Obviously, he'll get better and better when he's older. Oh, I'm tired again. Now. Um, and he is gonna be well, he is an amazing dog already. The reason why I'm also trying to make the house a bit more Christmassy than it was last year. It's because it's also Stan's first Christmas as well, and I want to make it special for him. I know he's just a dog, but he's my dog, and I want him to have a really good Christmas. I know he's just a dog, and he probably won't care, but, you know, I should buy him a stocking, actually. Because me and Craig have got stockings. I can't even remember where I bought them. That's not good, is it? <laughs> Um, but yeah, I did get, um, some stockings last year off, off Wish. Can't remember where I put them though. I'm gonna have to try and find them somewhere. Because they are gonna be somewhere around the house. I just don't know where, but I'll figure it out in a little bit. I'll have a look around the house, see if I can find most of the Christmas stuff that we don't, because we are ordering the, um, real christmas tree online somewhere and getting it delivered so we don't have to go out and get it which will be even better for us and then um, we're going to be borrowing craig's mum and dad's real christmas tree stand type thing as they're not having a real one this year i believe i think they're just having their normal christmas tree that they have they said that we could borrow it anyway so i'm assuming they're not having a real christmas tree this year um the reason why we're having a real Christmas tree this year is to try it out. If we don't like it, we'll go and buy a fake one next year or something. But this year we'll have a real one, see if it's okay. If it is, we'll probably do it again, you know, because it's probably better that way. And plus you get a really nice smell from that kind of tree. Um... So I'm really, really excited to get that. Obviously, I will be filming that for you guys in the next vlog. Well, not the next vlog. It will probably be on the second to onwards. So it definitely won't be this week's vlogs. It will be next week's vlogs for sure. As I do want to get the Christmas tree up in December. But I'll put all the other bits and bobs, like the stuff on the fireplace and stuff, in November. So you'll get to see that part um, this week. I, I do want to make it a little bit more Christmassy now, especially if we're doing a Christmas movie day. I want to make it look Christmassy, you know, to get myself even more in the mood. The only thing I'm not going to do until December is listen to Christmas music. Okay, I did have to put one on the intro. but that's the only one I've listened to and I did have to make sure it wasn't a copyright one so I did actually use a, a non-copyright Christmas song that's on my intro so I shouldn't get copyrighted if I do I would just take the sound out somehow I think I know how to do it anyway but yeah um so it is currently one o'clock it is currently 6 40 the day is going slow already um and it feels like i've been filming forever but i haven't um i'll also probably try and give you a little room tour of this bedroom on one of the vlogs too as it is done in a way um and i do have a spot here which does not look satisfying at all so i'm gonna go and then i'm gonna come back in a little a little bit and update you guys on my day 
and show you guys what I'm doing and I'll see you soon. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Stanley. You okay? Good morning. Good morning, mate. This always happens, don't it? You like bully whoops. Shall we give you some brekkie? Come on then, let's go. Okay, so I'm going to give him his food now. So I'm going to be getting a scoop, which I use this type of scoop. This is how much he has. I don't know if you can see it properly, but there's that. Good boy. Well done. Well done. currently time to put some pots away and wash some more pots and then I think I'm going to do a little bit of baking maybe I'm not too sure I'm gonna see how I feel in about an hour or two so let's get putting pots away So I thought I would come and talk to you for a bit while I wash some pots. I am just you know, going to talk to you guys for a little bit when I do this, just so you know I'm not as bored as I normally am. Normally I will play music, but because of what time it is, I don't really want to play music and wake up any neighbours. I'm just going to talk to you guys for a little bit. So. Christmas this year is probably going to be a little bit different than what it was last year for sure. It's definitely going to be a little bit more stressful and a little bit more of a online shopping Christmas present hunt kind of job. Especially because I think because we finish the lockdown on the 2nd of December, a lot of the people are going to be either not wanting to go to the shops because of how packed the shops are going to be so I think a lot of people will be doing it online this year me and Craig are definitely doing it online this year because we don't like crowded shops we've never liked crowded places Stanley get down please Stan get down Stan down good boy well done see what we're trying to teach him as well is not to climb up onto the worktop so it'll be oven because the oven can be hot obviously it's not hot at the minute but obviously he doesn't know that at all so we're trying to get him to go down as soon as we see him do it so you lick the oven instead that is a weird thing to do but you know um so yeah today for dinner we are having the rest of the, ch the breaded chicken that i made um with probably some gravy and some chips i don't know what i'm going to be making yet as far as i know but other than that i think that's what it's gonna be like for at least today i don't know what i'm gonna make us tomorrow i know saturday i'm either doing us a lasagna or burgers so it's either one of those for saturday which is going to be awesome because i like them for Oops. like when i was younger i never used to like washing pots but now it's actually quite therape therapeutic I hope I'm saying that word right, but, you know. And then after I've washed pots, 
I do like to do the pots in two bits because I do have carpal tunnel and my wrists start to hurt. So probably once I finish the first half, I'm going to grab some breakfast and you can come along with me like you are going to probably do for like most of the day. So other than that, I don't really know what else to say to you guys. I mean, what I want to know about you guys is how you're all doing are you keeping safe what do all of you want for christmas and um, stuff like that it'd be really cool to know what everybody wants for christmas also some of the stuff that i have bought that i'm going to be showing you today in the haul part is how much is some stuff is actually for what is for people for Christmas, so I hope you guys don't mind seeing that. I'm not going to tell you who it's for, just so in case that person who does watch it, you don't know it's for them. I, I, I also have a lot of people asking if I can do a video about my homemade garlic butter. And of course I can do that. It's actually not that hard either. It's actually pretty simple actually. Sorry about that, I had to get some some stop training on some shoes because you know we still kind of like that. He still likes to chew on stuff randomly. So I think I've done most of the pots for now. It's time to make some breakfast. Ready? Are you steady? So this is just our playtime routine. This is one of his favourite balls at the moment. It talks. And it just says some weird stuff. It says, Oh, you got me. I'm going to tickle you. Yeah, some weird stuff like that. It's a bit random, but you know, he loves it. It gives him a lot of exercise too. What are you doing? You just came back from a walk, haven't you, mate? Ah, down. Come get your ball. Your ball. Good boy, now you're a bull, don't you? Come on. Let me tell it for you, Gwendolyn. Ready? <laughs> Ready? Steady? Come on and give me a ball. Ready? Are you steady? He really does like that ball. This is another one of his favourites and it's a Christmas tree. It, it is broke. I'm trying to show the, the viewers down. And it's technically broke. It's got no squeak anymore. It's got no bottom. He just likes to keep it for some weird reason. This is like our time when we spend a lot of time together. We'll do this about three times a day. We'll do it once in the morning, once about lunchtime again, and then again at night time before bed. Where's your other ball, mate? Um, the one that 
this is one of his new toys that I bought him if I can show you it's this it came in like a a pack I'm trying to show people and there's one like this I think there was another one it was like a just a normal little ball type thing but yeah this one has a bell ready this just gives him a lot of exercise and it interacts with me so it's really really good isn't it buddy come on then let me put it in then he likes to hold it in his mouth and then when i don't pull my hands out he likes to drop it then <laughs> good right come here then. sit pull 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 good boy lay down <laughs> ready catch good catch yes good boy so he does really really do really well um especially with the sit and the lay down and the and i need like a little Can you just have that a minute? No? Okay. Basically, okay. okay. Hey, you always gave it to me then. Ready? Ready? Come here. I'll let go of it. Leave it. Leave it. Good. Touch. Touch. Good boy. High five. High five. High five. High five. Come on. Give your mummy a high five. High five. High five. High five. High five, then you're gonna have it. Okay, mum. High five. Good boy. There you go. Basically, he loves doing anything with toys as long as it's got toys involved. We've got that one back again. Ready? Are you steady? Good boy, ready? We're ready again? Are you ready? Are you steady? <laughs> He's really, really good with that. He makes me laugh too because he just knows what to do with it. Dan, get down. Get down, buddy. That's what he wanted. <laughs> he knows where either me or Craig puts this toy as it's an annoying toy, but... We only let him play with it for like an amount of time because one, it can get annoying, two, it's hard. And he has hit me in the head with this ball before, like right here near my eyebrow bone. And it killed the daylight out of me, didn't it? You're shaking. He's all gay, buddy. Steady. Oh, you steady. Wow. Careful you don't hit me with it, though. It's like a boy. All the other just give it to me. Sit leave it leave it leave it okay i'm gonna still throw it there for you so i actually didn't throw it i just be testing your leave it skills and his leave it skills are actually pretty good with, with treats with toys with anything ready i'm gonna throw it again one two three boy my hands are wet now. Um, but yeah, I mean, I am going to make sure that this Christmas stand is pretty special because it's his first one, so at least the first one has to be special for him. And he does really like playing with toys. I have no idea what he's trying to do up there.
<laughs> he loves that ball so much. It's, I think it's his out. It's like a favourite one, that black ball. Ready? Good. Well done. Gonna bring it back again. Turn up dead of an overdose. Very fucking convenient. A police spokesperson said that Miss Carpenter had arrived home to disturb the burglary in progress. Beth Carpenter, a well known environmental activist, was the driving force behind the closure of the biomedical nuclear power facility. <laughs> Don't eat the skin. I don't know if you'll like that. <laughs> <laughs> show you what I got from Cherries. The boxes are massive, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna pull them out one at a time. So this is the first thing and it is a trio candle and this is in the scent um berry bakery and the scents are strawberry cheesecake berry crumble and blueberry muffin Smells so good. Obviously, at first you can only smell the straw ball, but that smells so good. God. We've got the Palmer Violets candle that I was waiting for. I'm ready to smell it. It's such a beginner what I thought it was. Oh, that's amazing. I am so glad that they've done a Palmer Violets candle. I really am. This is amazing. I cannot believe it. I'm doing this box first by the way guys this is another candle and it's just in the scent festive fear that smells like a christmas tree oh that's amazing i just love all of these candles so far i really really do this is another one like the um palmer violets but this is the squashies drumstick one it's just red that one doesn't really smell of anything much but it's okay and i've also got some beef gravy Three tubs of peppercorn because I accidentally bought three by mistake. 
because they're gonna last a, a while a surprise another candle so this is coconut beach coastal mist and frozen glacier okay now that's amazing that one i'll probably save and then we can put it in our new bedroom once it's done i really really love these candles they're so so good by the way so then the first one is i got some tomato ketchup some hot pepper sauce some sauce granules cheese some garlic mayo some burger sauce they actually look like pots of paint another candle okay this is a bit more small than i thought it was going to be this is another christmas one and it's cinnamon apple cookie berry and festive cranberry it smells like like a pie that's amazing again these candles are so good quality by the way then i've got some a squashed box but it's some candy canes some yogurt break biscuit type things some lemon wafer type things that's what they look like um, another candle this is cozy cashmere woodland oak and festive fear they all smell so amazing i don't know how i'm going to choose which one to give away I didn't know that the Christmas puddings were this small. I thought they were going to be bigger. Good job I got two. Because this only serves one person, it says. So, good job I bought two. These are better, okay, you know, like, you know, yeah. Okay, good job I bought two of those. Then, these are Stanley's chews. These knotted bones. I also got some drops some chunky Kit Kats just some wine gums I don't have those in a while either some Marwelm joysticks joysticks a six set of combs as I actually don't own a comb at the minute okay it's just mm -hmm. Okay, but it is a wet food type of dinner, so I might give that to him on the weekend as like a little treat type thing. And I've got some of his training treats that he used to have when he was very, very young. I haven't bought him these since he was younger, so they'll be a good surprise for him. Got some rawhide more chews. Okay, this tree is a lot more smaller than what i thought it was i do need to pull that thing out but i won't do it at the minute it's a lot smaller than i thought it was going to be but still pretty got some Dorito salsa got a milk tray which i thought was going to be bigger again but it's okay i can still give that to someone um so i've got some got this to put on our window says merry christmas Got some creamy egg custard filling to make a pie. I bought some of these decorations. Actually, I'm gonna pull them out. Oh my god, they're so pretty. And they're the colour I actually wanted too. Actually, like a bluey silver. That's the theme that I'm going for this year. Like a bluey type silver. This is the plant. Okay, again, a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be, but it's cool. Some soy sauce. Some more puppy treats. Some bubble gum. 
another candle and this is winter woods candy cane and frosted pine all right this one's going to smell amazing smells right oh my god it smells so good you can definitely smell the pie and a bit of the um peppermint in there like the candy cane then we've got some salad cream we've got some spicy mayo we've got some american style mustard i'm covered in glitter that's gonna be annoying i didn't order this but it came anyway m and m and friends it must be like a thing in case they didn't have another thing but this is an m and m and friends one that's cool and that one is for us got some sugar free cookies got some a dental chew toy bone thing I've got a caramel galaxy and the new Honeycomb Galaxy, which I am excited to try. Got some tartar sauce. Because we do have fish quite a bit. Got some honey heat with Doritos and some honey cheese to make some nuts on Sunday. And I've got some more candles. Now these are apple and cinnamon. Okay, that definitely smells like cinnamon. Oh my god, that's so strong. Then I've got some cough drops because you never know when you need a cough drop. Got some chubba chucks. Oh no. The nutcracker's broken. That's okay, I think I can get Craig to super glue it. It's okay, it's just the hat that's came off, but I think I can get Craig to super glue that for me. Then we've got some more dumpling mix and some baubles. Okay, next box. Okay, got some kidney beans. I have to put all this away afterwards as well because I have to take notes of a while, but it's okay. Some white lasagna sauce to make a lasagna. Some canned coffee, some grated cheese for pasta, some hot dogs, the fiery ones, got some biscuits, got some Maltesers. Most of all this stuff is for Christmas by the way. Some M&M chocolate spread. Some cereal bars. This is just the peanut and caramel one. And we've got a curry sauce mix which looks amazing. I don't know if this is like a chip curry sauce or what is it? I have no idea. But we've got the same one again. I ordered two. And we've got some Ritz crackers. Some jelly babies. Christmas edition. Some of these caramel biscuit bars. Some cashews. Some palmer violets, of course. Some gold bars, some aero, some thermal gloves for Craig, some space invaders, some Jammy Dodgers minis. Some caramac and some more caramac. Some Pringles. So we've got the cheese and onion and the salt and vinegar. Got another 
kann. We've got normal hot dogs. We've got calendar for 2021. I think that's like a, a whiteboard type thing, that's interesting. That's quite cool. And we've got some Southern Style Gravy Mix. It's technically a bit like um, KFC Gravy. And I got two of those again, of course. I got some different flavoured drumsticks. Got the chocolate and peanut butter snow bars as well. Two packets of the white um, the washing machine cleanser or, 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 or cleaner even. I don't know why, but they gave me two white lasagna sauces and a smooth bolognese sauce. The home pride. Creamy tomato and herb. The golden nugget cereal. Some gum. Okay, there was one cereal missing, but other than that, it's all here. So yeah, that is all of the stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul. And obviously I will see in a little bit when I get round to putting all of this stuff away. Okay, so I've just ordered us some dominoes for later as I couldn't be bothered to cook tonight. So I ordered us some dominoes and hope and that will be coming at seven not seven five forty five. He's found his new ring, guys. Excuse me, You're not allowed up there. So I think I'm gonna leave the vlog here for today, guys. But I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day Two. I hope you guys enjoy Vlogmas Day One. I hope you don't mind that it's early, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.